kind of material. Well, it's not that they're so gifted, though they were very bright guys. The issue was is that they tied it in up here with the image. And that's what we need to do whenever we're, we're working with memory is use tools that create a picture and then attach the picture to something that we want to keep. Okay? Now, what's really important about the picture? The picture, and we'll talk about it again and again, the picture needs to be somewhat silly, ridiculous, out of sync, not believable. Because if it's believable, it's forgettable. So what we'll do is when we talk about memory, we're going to talk about the, the three major types of memory tools. One is a thing called a mnemonic, another is a peg method, and then the loci method. Now, I will tell you that all of these have been around for thousands of years. Now, how do I know that? You'll hear key phrases frequently that have gone back since, well, in the beginning, in the first place. Once upon a time, those are all tools, memory tools, that we used to pass down from one generation to the next, whole books that people could memorize. Okay? So with that